Welcome to another Tech Tip video, where today we're going to take a look at a big time saver when working in assemblies called Copy with Mates. Before we can look at Copy with Mates, let's take a look at the components and mates we'll want to copy. Here I have a washer and a bolt that I want to mate into position. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly do this by selecting the faces, the top face of this bracket and the bottom face of my washer, and choose Coincident. I'm then going to mate the shank of my bolt to this tapped hole using a concentric mate. Keep those mates in mind as we continue on. For copy mates, what I want to look at is what we're trying to accomplish. I want to copy that same washer and bolt in multiple locations. Here at the bottom, here in the lower left, and if I spin the assembly around, we can see we have another set of tapped holes on the back side of the part. Finally, we have some much smaller tapped holes in this bracket on the side. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use copy with mates to make this process go quicker. Copy with mates can be done whenever you select any components in an assembly. You can simply right mouse click and choose copy with mates from the menu. Likewise, copy with mates can be found under the insert components pull down. And finally, whenever you select components in the feature manager tree, you can right mouse click and choose copy with mates. When you do this, Copy with Mates will list the components you want to copy as well as any mates that are necessary to locate them. If you notice, these mates actually represent the mates that we just created, the coincident mate and the concentric mate. When we select these selection boxes, you can see that SolidWorks is showing us we'll need to reselect the same a similar face to the one we selected before. But in this case, we can actually use the same face as before by checking repeat. Then all we need to do is specify a new cylindrical face to repeat the concentric mate. And for this, I'll choose the tap tool at the bottom of the part. When I right mouse click, SolidWorks copies the washer and bolt to the new location. The next location is down here in the lower left. Now this bracket's slightly thinner than the previous bracket, so we don't want to use the repeat for the coincident mate. In this case, we'll select the new face on this bracket in the new tap hole and locate these components here. As we spin around to the back side of this part, you'll start to quickly realize the advantage of using copy with mates, and that's in its speed for locating these components. The last place we want to put these is going to be on this bracket on the front side. Now something unique happens in this instance. When I do this, SolidWorks locates the washer and bolt, but the bolt is facing in the wrong direction. If this ever happens, you can use the Change Alignment button in the Property Manager to properly orientate the part. I'm going to go ahead and press OK at this point to finish the command. Now, you can see that this hardware is a little bit too large for what we're trying to do in this case. Because they're toolbox fasteners, however, we can simply right-click and choose Edit Toolbox Component. SolidWorks then allows you to simply specify a new fastener right on screen. And in this case, I'm going to choose quarter 20, and we're going to change the length of the fastener right on the fly. We'll want to do the same thing for this washer as well. So I'm going to right click, choose Edit Toolbox Component, and select the new size. Now that we've adjusted the appropriate size of the new washer and bolt, we want to do just like we did before. Select the components, right mouse click, and choose copy with mates. Again, you'll see that it's going to ask us to specify a new coincident face, which we'll repeat in this case, and a new concentric face, which for this example, I'll choose the second tapped hole. And that quickly, you can see that we were able to create all of these components in multiple locations in our design. Keep in mind that this isn't just limited to fasteners. You can use this for any number of components. I only use fasteners to show the ability to change the toolbox definition on the fly at the end.